Hi, my name is David Sickles. I'm the editor of The Buzz, and I'm here in studio with Electron John from Autel. John, tell us, what do we have going on here today? Well, David, thank you for asking, and thank you for having me out here. Today, I want to talk to you about the Autel Scan Tool, mm -hmm. which has the same ability as every other scan tool out on the market, where it's able to hook directly to the OBD2 connector, but we can also go directly to the battery management system on a high voltage battery. The benefits to being able to do that is, we have a lot of information that's not shared when we're talking with the electric vehicles, that's not shared along the data bus communication lines because mm. other modules don't need to necessarily know all the information that this BMS has available to us. So for a technician standpoint, there's a lot of things that could go wrong with electric drive vehicles, which they may not ever be able to diagnose easily hmm. without having the ability to go directly to the high voltage battery. The battery doesn't have to be out of the vehicle. It's just one of the extra advantages. Let's say you happen to order a used battery from a salvage yard to replace mm -hmm. in a vehicle. It's a great way that you can actually test the battery before you actually put it in. Hmm. Well, we can do the test in the vehicle or out of the vehicle. For sake of this little video here, we're doing it out of the vehicle so everybody can kind of see it. Sure, sure. And I see we've got a hybrid battery here. So this is going to be good for hybrids. It's good for all electric. Is that right? Yep. Good for hybrids, plug-in hybrids, and electric vehicles. So real quick, the simple way to do it, I mean, going to the OBD2 connector, everybody's done that a million times. So we're not going to really feature that part of the test here, but going directly to the high voltage battery. Mm -hmm. We are going to the low voltage side because this mm -hmm. is what the, the module or the BMS inside the, the battery pack operates off low voltage. So even though we're getting inputs from all the high voltage modules and everything within this battery, we're all getting it through the little PID lines on mm -hmm. each one of these computers here. Got it. So real quick, basically I've taken the liberty to just hook up to the high voltage battery pack here off screen. And the first screen that will come up will show you an overall view of the high voltage mm. battery pack. So it'll tell you stuff like what the current state of charge happens to be. This one happens to be 43%. How many volts are in the battery pack? It says 233.10. Mm -hmm. The amperage says zero because we don't have anything hooked up to sure. it. So there's no load on it. We have our peak voltage delta, so the average. And we'll come back to that here in a little bit. And then we have the overall viewpoint of what the temperature of the battery is. Hmm. So it says it's about 68 degrees Fahrenheit. And then this particular battery, even though it has multiple cells, the cells are grouped into four individual modules. So I have all four modules being displayed on the screen. And we'll see some of them say 20 millivolts, some of them will say zero yeah. millivolts. So what that's actually telling us isn't really how much voltage is in each one of these cells or each one of these modules, I should say. But if I were to touch on one of the modules, I pull up a screen and I see that each module has a total of 16 individual battery mm. cells. So that 20 millivolts is the difference between each one of those individual cells within this one module. Oh, okay. okay. So that's something that we call battery balancing. And it's something that is really making a, making a stand in the industry right now because if the battery is not properly balanced, you're going to suffer from lost range in between charges and also the battery will want to discharge at a faster rate of speed. Hmm. So trying to keep the battery, all the cells within each one of the modules properly balanced is, is a key point here. Interesting. So we can see that on average, each one of those cells has about 3.6 volts or so. Sure. And again, I could touch on any one of the modules and it would come up. So this module two, all of those cells are perfectly balanced where the other three modules are off by a little bit. Every manufacturer will allow a, a certain specification. So mm -hmm. I happen to know this one, this one's from a Kia Nero. That specification is anything greater than 40 millivolts. Okay. So if the cells within the modules were greater than 40 millivolts apart, that whole module would be highlighted in red instead of green, like we see there. I see. So there's a lot of diagnostics information right on the first page. Yeah. And that pack voltage delta that we kind of skipped over from the top line there, that's just telling you what the greatest amount of cell variance happens to be within the individual within modules. Each module. Okay. 
So that's all nice and it's, it's very beneficial for a technician, but some other information that the tool can give for us at the bottom right hand corner, we have a module locations. So let's say I determined I needed to replace a module because it has failed and I couldn't balance it back. I would know how each one of those modules are laid out in this actual battery pack. So I would just compare the picture on the screen with how the modules are laid out there, modules one through four. Sure, so you don't ac accidentally be messing with a module you're not supposed to be or you're, you don't intend to. 100%. So then from that screen, if I go to battery pack information in the top middle, this is just telling me overall general information about the battery pack. A lot of times this is the information that if you called up a dealership and say, hey, I got to order a high voltage switching contactor or something that mm -hmm. you determined was bad, they're going to ask you certain information. So it displays okay. it for us. Where it really shines is on the other live data. And I'm just going to scroll up here and you can see there are, I'm going to guess somewhere between <laughs> eight and 10 pages of data. <laughs> You're blowing my mind here. Yeah. Now, some of this data we would be able to see by going to the OBD2 connector, because some of this data needs to be shared with other modules on the mm -hmm. network. But I would have to say at least four or five pages of this data does not need to be shared along the data bus network with other modules. So we would have no way as a technician to ever see this data mm. without coming and you know taking the battery out of the vehicle and taking the covers off and everything and actually doing pinpoint testing. So now I have this data available to me to help me diagnose the vehicle. So what is an example of one of these data points that you uh, might be looking for, but you wouldn't normally be able to get from that OBD2 port? Well, there's quite a few and that's a perfect question. And I'm glad you asked it because on this particular hybrid battery pack, a lot of times first responders will say if they pull up to a crash scene or something like that, that they cut the negative battery cable, the 12 volt negative battery cable. Because in theory, if everything's working the way it's supposed to, if you take away the 12 volts, there's no way for the contactors to stay closed. So once the high voltage switching contactors open, then pretty much anywhere on the vehicle except for the battery pack itself should in theory not have high voltage threat present. Okay. But as you can see with this Kia and Hyundai is the same way, it's got a separate 12 volt battery as part of the high voltage battery pack. So there's a 12 volt battery that's on the vehicle. Mm -hmm. They can cut that negative cable all day long, but this 12 volt battery is the one that's used to keep the actual contactors closed. So it's not a safe thing, not a safe mm -hmm. practice for those first responders to just be taught to cut the negative battery cable on the car. And I can see I can see a lot of information, but I can see a lot of the information about the 12 volt battery pack on the screen that's relating to this particular mm. battery here. I can also see the individual cell balances of this 12 volt battery as well. Oh, interesting. So I have a lot of information on, on this particular battery pack that makes it kind of unique and different from other car lines. The other thing is this thing here that's called a pressure sensor. Mm -hmm. And we all know that with lithium batteries, which this is a lithium style battery, one of the big scary things is lithium runaway. So you could have a fire that potentially starts. Well, there's seven stages, as you're well aware of, of, of lithium runaway that could occur. Stage five is actually when the cells start to expand and then they start to vent. So Kia and Hyundai actually has a pressure sensor mm. in there. And if the module started to expand, it's going to shut down the high voltage from going anywhere else on the vehicle. So the high voltage will still be present inside the battery pack, mm -hmm. but they limit its exposure of going out to the rest of the vehicle by okay. being able to do that. So we can see that information on here. We can see pretty much anything that the BMS has control over. We have full, viewing on our scan tool by being able to do that. And I've never counted the individual little low voltage wires on this particular um, BMS here, but I'm gonna guess that there's probably a hundred different lines of data here. Wow, yeah. So, you know, that's, that's quite advantageous when you're trying to diagnose or repair an electric drive type of vehicle. Sure. Well, John, thanks for the overview here. This has been fantastic. This has been a really great kind of 100,000 foot view. I would love to get into the nitty gritty down the road, maybe even get a EV in here that we can actually do something with. Sure, I'd love to be able to do that. 
We got a lot of exciting products at Autel and we have a lot of different types of information, especially related to electric drive vehicles that I'd love to, to show your viewers and Autel's viewers as well. I love it. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you.